Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Longnai Radio and Television Station. Here's the news today. The Nai Provincial People Committee Office has just held a conference to reveal the first six months of the year and implement the task for the last six months of 2023. Chairman of the Provincial People Committee, Gao Ting Yum, attended the conference. Speaking at the conference, Chairman of the Provincial People Committee, Gao Ting Yum, suggested that the Office of the Provincial People Committee continue improving the quality of advice, citancy, construction, and management of the Provincial People Committee work program, continue to promote the reform of administrative procedure, improve professional skill, and promote the application of information technology in the consulting and assisting activity of the Office of the Provincial People Committee to ensure complete and timely information on this occasion Provincial leader committed collective and individual under the office of the Provincial People Committee for outstanding achievement in the patriotic emulation movement in 2022. Traceability of essential food of animal oxygen is a fundamental and practical solution to address the demand for sale source product. In the first six months of this year, the Nam Province have promoted the use of these solutions. The project on traceability of essential food of animal origin in the Nile province in a period of 2019 to 2020, orientation to 2025, were approved by the Nile People Committee in November 2020. When athlete stamping and scanning we are called for traceability, has received more positive feedback from livestock farm, slaughterhouse owner, meat traders, and consumer. This model continues to be replicated and applied to farm and households. On July 11, the management board of Domnai Industrial Park held a ceremony to award investment certificate for two typical foreign investment projects in Domnai Industrial Park in the first six months of the year. The first project is the Upper Vietnam Factory with an investment capital of 20 million USD invested by Joe Albert S. E. Joe Albert S. E. specialized in control technology and ventilation system in Germany. The second project, SKC Vietnam Technology Factory, invested 10 million USD by SKC Overseas Limited, which specialized in manufacturing skill and display device. Speaking at ceremony, Vice Chairman of the Provincial People Committee Nguyễn Thị Hoàn highly appreciated the effort of the investor for having trusted to choose the nice at a place to expand the market and develop business. Provincial leader on way commit to be inconsistent with the motto that the government accompany business. South Korean President Jun Zhe Sud and NATO Secretary Chen Zhouzhen Sunderberg on July 11 established a new bilateral partnership in 11 areas, the South Korea Resident Office said. At a meeting on the side of the NATO summit, the two leaders approved the individual Tyler Partnership Program, ITBB, elevating the bilateral relationship from the individual partnership program established in November 2012. The new program increased the number of areas of cooperation from 7 to 11, including dialogue and consultation to promote mutual understanding of common security threat. Speaking at the meeting, President Jun Su-chiao said, I'm here to institutionalize a framework of cooperation by establish the ITPB and carry out consultation on cooperation with NATO in the field of military information and cybersecurity. A senior in Turkey official said on July 11 that Ankara Hub, the working group on European Union, Reform will be restored after Ankara accept Sweden NATO membership. The official said Ankara expects constraint progress from the EU on issues such as visa free travel as well as the removal of some chapter. On EU accession, the official also added that the West needs to support Turkey with its financial need. The official noted that Turkey will develop a reasonable relationship with the U.S. and expect a wish resolution to some issue. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. See you next time.